Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens here from iGo Sales and Marketing. Um, today I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to add buttons to your campaign emails in Sweet CRM. I get a lot of questions about that. Again, sorry it's been a while since my last video. Uh, with COVID-19, you can imagine it's been uh, very busy and uh, it's been busy uh, people trying to get online, get Sweet CRM in the cloud, and get their sales reps working from home, all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, um, I've got uh, a quick lesson for you here today, and I will put links down below also to my uh, course that I now have online. Uh, I've got a full comprehensive course on Sweet CRM uh, for a really good price, and it covers the entire gamut of Sweet CRM. Anyway, um, if you're interested in that, you can check the link below. Otherwise, let's get to it. Okay, so um, I've got Sweet CRM up and active here. And what we're going to do is we are going to start an email template. Okay, so let's uh, create a new email template. And let's just call this test buttons. Okay. Um, so uh, we are going to, let's say we put a headline in here. Okay. I don't know. Uh, big sale this week. Okay. Let's, uh, I don't know, center that. Let's uh, make it really big. How about bigger than that? Okay, big sale. Okay, and then you're gonna want to put in your, you know, dear uh, dear contact name, uh, and then so let's say we want to put a button in here. Okay, so let's just give ourselves a few lines and. If you don't know HTML, this can be a difficult task, okay? So you can always um, go into your tools here and look at the source code, and then you can put in, uh, a, in and style the HTML, the button, and all that kind of stuff if you know that, but most people don't. So what I'm gonna do here, first of all, let's just put a placeholder in, okay? And then, uh, Okay, so we want our button kind of like here, right? So I'm gonna show you a little tool, okay? So there are lots of these websites. Some of them work better than others, but here's one that I find works really good. Um, this will create the HTML code for you. Um, and again, I'll put the link down below, but the HTML code for the button, okay? So let's say we want the button to be blue, okay? Uh, we want the border color to be white or close to it. Uh, we want the font size to be 18. Okay. Um, we want the font to be Georgia or no, I don't like that. How about Verdana? <laughs> okay. Um, we want to change the border radius, you know, make it a little bit more rounded. Um, the button download. Oops. Okay, uh, and then we're gonna send it to like my site .com. Okay, so that's when the person clicks on it, that's where they're gonna go. Okay, and you can see as I'm doing this, it's creating all the HTML code for you. So all I have to do if I want this button is simply, you know, copy it and then go back to Sweet CRM. And then you can't just paste it in here. You have to switch over to the source code Okay, and the reason why I type that button is, you can see right here that that's going to be, whoops, that's going to be where I want to put the button. Okay, so I'm going to go to the end of, like, the P is a paragraph, okay? So that paragraph is the button, okay? So I'm going to want to go to the end of that and then leave a couple spaces, uh, just paste in that text that I just had there, okay? So that's the code here that I just pasted in from the button generator okay so if I hit okay you're gonna see I now have a nice button so I don't need this here that was just so I could find where the space was okay 
Um, and then there we go. There's my nice little button. Let's say, you know, I want to put another section here and then put my footer in the bottom, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, then if I save this, okay you'll you'll have a nice little button here okay and it'll work you hover it over it and you can see in the corner down here when I hover over it it goes to my site.com uh, you should test it just make sure it works the issue with buttons is different browsers um, and different email systems allow certain uh, CSS to style the button and um, some don't allow very many CSS <laughs> Uh, to style the button so um, it's difficult to create a button really that works in every single you know email system like known to man <laughs> okay so uh, anyway this one does a pretty good job uh, I've used this one a few times and it's worked out really good for me uh, an email I just sent myself I, I, I did it as a test I used a different button color but you'll see it does work in Microsoft Outlook here pretty well and um, it, it looks good and you hover it over it and you can see it clicks to mysite.com okay so that works out pretty good uh, and that's how you do email buttons so um, try that out uh, if you have any questions or comments put them below and please it really helps me out if you like my videos please give it a like uh, subscribe to the channel and you'll see new videos I think what I'll also do is I will put a link down below um, for um, not only my course but I have a free lesson on how to set up Sweet CRM with like targets, leads, contacts, opportunities and what all that whole workflow means. Um, anyway, that's a free lesson. If you like it, you know, take the lesson. If you want to sign up for the course, um, please do so. Anyway, thanks for watching.